hello everybody um, welcome to this live stream today I'm going to show you how I set up my uh, sculpting stage and uh, mostly I am going to focus now on the brushes so uh, let's get started uh, last episode uh, I showed you how you could uh, set up this um, uh, uh, sculpt stage um, at the references you have a car sketch that is placed in the center um, I have named my objects and this is the car shapes so this is the sculpt base uh, this is a sculpt base that I now uh, will sculpt uh, and I have the wheels back and wheels front so uh, sculpt base I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna go into sculpt mode the brushes that I am going to use are some brushes I don't use all the brushes I use some brushes and uh, to start I'm going to go with one of the ones that I uh, use a lot that's the flatten brush and now we're going to set it uh, the best way to start a uh, hard surface sculpting so the flatten brush it flattens um, our shape and uh, you have to be uh, you have to keep in mind that the flatten brush adds vertices in dynotopo uh, in contrast to the smooth brush that doesn't add any vertices it just smooths them out I'm going I am going to show you in later uh, episodes but this I am just going to show you how I set up my brushes so I'm gonna select the flatten brush and this is and the overlay I'm going to do the curve alpha so you can see it in your sketching if you don't enable that you would just see the yellow circle but now you can see the curve and the curve is uh, the how the sh how the shape of is uh, in fact the shape of your brush so now you can see that the brush in the center is lighter than the uh, outskirts of the brush that are uh, darker so in the center there's a lot of things going on and where it's dark it's there's nothing much going on I am going to go to curve here and in curve I am always using this setting for curve and I'm going to do the same for the the smooth brush I am going to set the curve to this and the overlay so that I can see my brush I also use the clay strips this one uh, go ahead and enable the curve uh, overlay and I'm going to set the curve also to this I am using also the draw brush the draw brush equal curve I like to see the brush when I'm working um, that's my personal preference but I will uh, also set the curve to this um, I also use the inflate sometimes inflate just the same go ahead and put the overlay on and then we have the uh, pinch brush and for the pinch brush I only use the overlay I don't change the curve I don't change it at all it's good as it is and for the pinch brush I don't uh, so now you have the crease brush I don't change the curve at all so and just go in with the overlay and then there's only one brush that I still use that's this one that is the scrape brush yes it is and go ahead and uh, enable the overlay uh, you can also do this with the mask brush and enable the overlay sometimes for the mask it depends on what I want to do I'll, I'll go like this and then it's a full brush um, but uh, I will go ahead and just do it like this for the moment so that those are basically how I set up my brushes for hard surface sculpting now in the second part of this uh, small tutorial I am going to show you the difference uh, between some brushes uh, f like the flatten brush uh, as you can look down here we have 184 verts 
at the moment and I am going to enable Dino Topo and this is my Dino Topo settings um, so it's the sculpt base that I'm gonna be working on that's okay the Dino Topo I always go in for constant detail I am going to start with the detail of 10 that's okay and for the refine method method I find that for hard surface sculpting subdivide subdivide edges is the best you can do now with the flatten brush uh, selected go ahead and press shift s or uh, shift f and that's the force uh, f is the size and shift f that's the force of the brush now we're not going to use so much force uh, so we're going ju just to just have a, a, a small flatten brush and we're going to break up and add vertices now I am going to show you here in edit mode. These are the vertices that, that we now have. Okay. And I'm going to go back into scope mode. Let's see if Dynatopo is still uh, enabled. No, it is now. Okay. Going to in the flatten brush 184. Now 65 verts. And let's go ahead and don't do shift. Uh, let's go ahead and add some verts. Okay. As you can see, I have the mirror uh, enabled, so I don't uh, I don't need to do the other side. I can just work on one side, and I am just going to have put some geometry in there so that we can have something to work with. Um, <laughs> I am humming because I am enjoying this. And now you can see uh, that down here we now have 10,114 verts. Now you have to keep in mind that some um, brushes add verts and some don't. Like for example, I've shown you the smooth brush. This will not add any verts. Now you see here 10,114. I'm going to go into Shift F. I don't need a very hard smoothing brush and I'm just gonna smooth out this and as you can see we always have 10,114 verts so nothing is happening you're just smoothing out the verts that you're having that you have in your in your sculpt now this is something very important for you to understand not every brush adds verts even in Dynatopo. Some are just used for helping you uh, modeling your uh, uh, your car or whatever you want to sculpt. Some are just there to uh, are just tools that you can use to uh, refine your sculpt and some are, ethical, uh, are uh, there for uh, adding verts and adding geometry. Now let's go ahead and um i am uh, i am just going to save this because i were going to end this uh, small tutorial this was just on how to set up uh, the brushes i'm going to recap a little bit so uh, to have the um, the brush show up in your circle go to overlay and enable this if you don't it's the yellow circle if you have it you can ha see the uh, you can see the brush uh, in it and I think blender is crashing on me oh please don't crash please don't crash no it's not it didn't crash okay so uh, if you enable it you can see your brush uh, on your mesh if you use it and for the curve I always use uh, this uh, this setup uh, the second one here for uh, a good curve for a brush uh, this is the radius of this circle so you have the circle this is from the side from the center to the side the radius of uh, your brush okay so this will be very effective here 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 and it slopes down to the to the the side so you have a a strong uh, a strong center and a s side of the brush doesn't do so much this gives you quite a bit of control uh, Dynatopo is set to 10 and along the sculpting 
I will increase this to 20, 25, 30 uh, as long as we start getting uh, finer and finer to the end result this will go up and so will the vert count and as you can see I've shown you that with the flatten brush you can add verts and the smooth brush does not add any verts at all so I hope you enjoyed and we're just gonna save this and save as and I'm going to base setup and I'm going to just add one uh, and I'm going to give this the name brush base setup one brush blend and if I'm going now uh, save as blend file I know that the brushes are set um, in this uh, in the stage so we uh, uh, we're ready to go and start sculpting uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you like my videos and you want to see me keep on posting uh, about hard surface sculpting, uh, hit subscribe like everybody asks. Hit the like button if you liked it. If you didn't like it, hit the don't like button. Leave a comment. I always try to reply. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, I will try to help you. I will give you uh, the best of my advice and I, will I am very happy to teach you everything I taught myself. I love doing this uh, these sculpts and uh, thank you for watching. Have a great night and uh, a great day and uh, uh, leave a comment. Bye.